Welcome back guys to the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on something we really talked about in my previous video where we talked about different prompts to use. Now, in today's video, we're going to be actually talking about some of the best prompts to actually use. So before we actually get into this video, it would really mean a lot if you guys can go check out my other, other videos and please subscribe guys. I'm going to be posting more value as well as different videos that will definitely help you guys out. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. Now, there's this website i found recently which is better than the past ones that i was looking at and this is called prompt vibes i went over chat x last video i also went over a paid one but since i want to provide you guys with free value i'm going to be showing you some stuff that's free now some of the best ones that i found from this website is its marketing prompts these are some of the things that you can outreach as well as to help different businesses maybe even help your own business out by using some of these prompts now the one that i found the best is the content script writer for youtube this is something that you can do and help different businesses grow and basically there's different categories and all of these categories have different values as well as different meanings as to what you can do with the different prompts so for this example you can basically copy and paste the whole content paste it into chat gpt and you'll get the actual ideal prompt that you need so obviously there's for the marketing prompt you have the youtube content script writer there's also different ones where you can learn from chat gpt uh you can also have something such as analyzing your resume it can give you more writing prompts and basically i've been going through each and every one of these and i've been testing it out a little bit and initially this website was something that was really odd because i thought it would be paid but it's actually completely free there's also some fun entertaining ones that you can also use but ideally the ones that are in the productive the coding the marketing have the best prompts that you can actually use now for example the people who write emails and stuff you can act as an you can copy this i'll just show you guys an example this is just a random one but you can basically just copy and paste it, tweak it a little bit so it matches the description of your prompt. And basically, you can output it into ChatGPT and it will prompt it to write something that is more ideal for what you're trying to do with that certain prompt. In this case, we're focusing on email marketing or an email generator. And it's basically telling it to craft a clear and concise email tailored to user's desired message so obviously in these things you also need to engineer the re response of the prompt you have to input certain things that match and align what you're trying to accomplish with the goal so that way chat gpt can precisely engineer the algorithm to provide a more precise and a valued answer so you really need to be more precise with what you're trying to do look how detailed these prompts are guys you got to be using some of these prompts and adding more in-depth and inclusive thoughts so that the algorithm can have and provide you more value now this is just one example obviously it formulates something and now i'm going to be showing you some of the other ones that i've been using and that is in the marketing one and initially some of the things that i've been using is like generating some sort of like copywriting and there's so many different things that you can use in this and it provides there's always people providing new different prompts every single day now i believe it was this one social media copywriting and it basically you copy the prompt and you paste the social media platform that you're trying to copyright for and you put in some of the rules as well as the keywords that the prompt is trying to ask you to find and basically once you put all the data as well as the values you're able to engineer the response to provide you something that will provide sorry that will actually help you and deliver what you're trying to accomplish with the actual social media copyright now this website has a lot of different things that you can get you can do so definitely check out some of the things there's also fun ones that you can also check out and there's also random ones that you can like random prompts that you can use for your different videos or i mean sorry not videos for your actual content or what you're trying to accomplish with the prompts now 
another thing i wanted to show is on chat x this is something that i highly recommend that you guys use if you're maybe a new grad or someone who's been applying for work some of these resume prompts that they have it can be very beneficial to you guys who are trying to apply for that obviously there's also different things that you would you could even like use these prompts for like for certain different cases maybe it's cover letters maybe it's something that you can use to, for body fat in this case it's free everything over is free so you can definitely use it now something that i really wanted to show you is the copywriting one because this is something that a lot of people can actually like make something out of and there's also the article ones that you can use guys it's completely free and i highly recommend it now for the copywriting one let me just show you an example so i found this article over here and basically you basically copy the prompt which is over here i believe this is something else but i'll be back so basically what i had to do was copy and paste the prompt input certain different requirements from the article that i'm trying to copyright in this case i'm trying to copyright this article which is who is hurt from copyright infringement and basically i put in the occupation some of the more in-depth in details as well as the keywords that would be used for this prompt and i paste it into chat gpt and once you paste it you press enter basically and it does everything the whole copywriting process with the algorithm that the prompt had provided and it will formulate the response that you can actually use maybe you can sell it maybe you can put it on your blog and there's certain things that you can do with this there's so many different prompts and so many things that you can tweak around with obviously these prompts have certain things that have been working for a while so you can be doing certain things to help you with your prompt engineering but there's so many different things that you can tweak around with and obviously you can use it to improve your things your prompts as well as what you're trying to generate now there's another thing the third way is the aiprm extension this is something that i always reiterate in every single video i have as it's completely free guys and it's been obviously tweaked by so many community members as you can see some of these prompts have over a million you have like over 100k 700k views on certain like prompts and there's so many things that you can even do like for example resume if you just search it up you will have so many different like prompts that you can use for your resume uh say if you're doing something with social media like it can generate so many different prompts as well as so many different ideas that you could use that, that will be beneficial for you to provide your service as well as what you're trying to generate now obviously the best one that i would recommend to everyone whoever even if you're not even doing something with the agency is basically the human written unique and seo optimized article now the reason why i say this is the best one is because you're able to provide as well as write certain generative content that will help you make it more unique not only make it more unique but it would also provide you more value as to what you're trying to generate with this certain prompt it is not also to help you with seo but it, it is also to help you out with actually formulating more detailed responses with this actual human written response because what the thing is with ai it does not respond with text with burstiness as a human would and this is why certain texts might be detected as ai detected so this prompt what it does it, it actually makes it so that the actual text that you're trying to make is human written so this is probably the most ideal as well as the best prompt that you can probably use and this is the basic point of this video guys because i'm trying to show you guys some of the best things that i've been using over the recent weeks and this is something that i'm just trying to give to you guys so that you can use to actually help you out with whatever you're trying to accomplish but that's basically the gist of the video guys there's three different ways three different prompts marketplaces that you can use that are also used for engineering some of the tweaking like, or like as in you can tweak certain things as well as prompt engineer with the certain responses and the first one is the prompt vibes the second one is chat ai or chat x ai and the last one is the aip 
rm extension and that's basically the gist of today's video guys i hope you like this video if you want me to go more in depth of certain things that i should do please list it down below and please subscribe guys comment like and share and i highly recommend you guys look at some of the older videos that i have as they're very beneficial for you guys and it'll definitely help you guys become better at using ai content as well as ai generative the creative use of ai and that's basically the gist of today's video guys so thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you guys next time peace out